All right. <clears throat> Doing a couple things in the home. One thing, uh, my mom, out of nowhere, she uh, sent me like $500 saying, hey, buy a new stove. And I told her, I was like, listen, I'm not going to buy a new stove until I remodel the kitchen. As you can see, the floors are still bare. Um, I still got to take the carpet off the stairs. I had some guys actually clear up, clear the upstairs. I'll make a video about that. But uh, as a somewhat home improvement, I want to, you know, increase uh, the or expand my home. Excuse me, expand my home gym. So I bought a uh, a weight cage or a, ra a power cage. So it's pretty cool. It's about sixty five inches wide. Uh, let me show you where it's gonna go. So I already have my current workout area in the sunroom. That little area there. So it has a couple weights. I'll get some more weights eventually. Uh, but you know, I got a view of the lake and everything like that. So I have that, that carpet gonna move around. This will be a temporary space until I get an actual steel metal building built outside. Um, it'll probably be a, a long while before that happens. But I have more than enough space uh, here to here to put something in. Now, eventually, I want to hang a TV up there, uh, the 65 inch that I have in my current, the current area that I'm staying in. And so I don't want the rack right there, but from there to there is well over 65 inches, which is the um, longest or the, the total width of the rack. That's not, there's like a little. Uh, pegs where you can put the weights on so it measures from the end of one of those pegs to the end of one of those pegs because the peg kind of protrude or not kind of but they protrude out or stick out so um, the rack itself if I don't have those pegs would be even less probably about 10 inches less total uh, so what I'll probably do is actually put the rack right there because I'll be mostly using it for benching I'll get a better bench that does uh, decline and incline um, and then use this bench somewhere else. Also, my mom actually found the weights for those power blocks there. I've been look. I was looking for those before I left, so I'll probably have to. Oh, not probably, but I'll drive back down next time. I drive back down to Florida. I'll get those. Uh, get the right blocks. But I'll be putting the rack most likely right here. Uh, I will not be bolting it in. I don't plan on doing any squats or anything like that because I'm just getting tired of squats. Like just, I don't feel like feeling that type of pain. I might do. I may do like low uh what's it called low weight on the squats but for the most part i'll be doing just deadlifts and using the hex bar to get that done so i have 45s let's get closer so we get better lighting but right now i just got the 45s on either side and i got more 45s over there i'm most likely going to keep it light um i just don't feel like doing heavy weight i've done up to 425 on deadlift uh 405 on squat and I could, I mean, I probably could have pushed myself and done more and also been in better shape body wise to handle more. But those are usually the numbers that I stopped at for bench. I was doing probably 315. I'll probably get it close back to 200, uh, two, 300, but I don't think I'll be doing crazy numbers on bench anymore either. I uh, just really, you know, after years of doing it with football and everything, I just don't feel like feeling that type of pain anymore. But um, let me back up here. But yeah, so this will be the gym area. I think I'll put the rack right there uh, or maybe even closer to there and then go from there. And then this area still should be clear up top because the rack is probably about 84 inches tall. The lighting sucks, but yeah, rack is about 40, 84 inches tall or so. So I should have enough um, space uh, on the top side has a pull up bar but it'll be a while before I get to that but yeah so uh, what I'll do is I'll move that in here I uh, finally brought my dolly up uh, back from home so I'll move that whole box in here and then later on set that up and then uh, the next part of the video probably should be the uh, it, it should be finished alright alright so uh, after work now so I uh, got time to put this together uh, yeah, it looks out. It, it turned out great. It wasn't too hard at all. It was pretty easy. Also, one thing I noticed is that my back doesn't hurt as much anymore when I'm doing stuff like this. So that means all the walking and exercising I have been doing has been working out great. So that's just like a 
side note, but very important one. Um, this rack was about, I think, $300 or so. Um, as I said, I got a little extra money from mom, so, you know, I'll take it, you know, a little housewarming gift type deal. But, uh, yeah, got to send her a picture of it, show, show her what I did with the money and all. But, yeah, so, uh, this rack, the only thing, this will not be its permanent home, because I am not going to bolt through my tile uh, to bolt this thing down. But it needs to be bolted down or weighed down. So, what I'm probably going to do is get either probably some sandbags, like a couple sandbags to put across the back of that, um, and maybe on the side as well, uh, to act as weights to hold this thing down. I do not plan on doing any squats. But unless you have these things bolted down, they are a total fucking danger. So what I will be doing is at least putting some sandbags down on them so that it can hold them down. And as I said, I'm not going to do any crazy weights and I don't plan on doing any squats on this. Um, and then even my deadlift, which is all that stuff over there. I mean, I go, that's freaking light. Um, and I won't be really using the deadlift. I might use the bar like to hold the weight, if anything on these like the weight hangers which are really nice these are nice um but this is a cut down cheaper rogue fitness-esque type cage so um and the reason why i say rogue fitness is because the we i think we had rogue fitness at uh my former high school where i was coaching so they redone the weight room since i had left of course and they put in like all new equipment so i noticed um they have these things here which are like this, where it's like this flat bar. It's a real thick piece of plastic. I really like that. And that's pretty durable. Um, and then they also have these. And these are nice because you can like pull them off like that. Um, the only thing I don't like about these here is that, like now that I'm using this, that's easy to come off like that. Um, the other ones that are Rogue Fitness, they can almost pretty much lock, they lock in. Because um, you pull it, like you have the, I forgot what they call, I don't know what they call them actually, but you pull it out here. And then it'll pop right back in because it has like a spring to it. But that costs a lot more. It's a lot heavier. A um, uh, lot better equipment. I will not lie. This is on the lower price, cheaper side. Uh, so far, I like it. Um, I haven't really used it. But I like the way it looks at least. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if anything, I'll put a link in the description of what it is. Uh, but I was able to tighten everything down, do all this by myself. And, uh, yeah, it didn't take too long. I was going slow my damn self, listening to music and stuff like that. But this is a part of, you know, I got to do my little spiel. But this is a part of making improvements to your space. Um, doing things that would make your home a home, especially if you're looking in terms of uh, MGTOW retirement, living a life, um, or a MGTOW life. And, you know, things like this are nice improvements. It's the man cave type deal. Eventually, I do want to move this into a steel metal building like I uh, talked about in one of the last videos or in my last video. And this is definitely something where I'm going to put this in that in that building and then actually bolt it down. And then it'll be into the ground and I'll have my own little workout, my own little gym. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. Uh, this is, uh, I forgot who left a comment. He called me Paddington Bear in the last video, which is hilarious. But, um, yeah, so... This is my answer to that a little bit in terms of, hey, I'm actually not just doing cardio. I will be doing more weights. And I don't think I've really ever showed this off in a video by itself. So, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for listening. Peace.